Good morning from Long Island in the Bahamas. After the other day's amazing road trip across the island, checking out a cave in Blue Hole, we wanted to go see what was hidden beneath us. The crystal clear water was calling us in. But diving this year is very different than any year in the past. It's pretty much solo diving unless you have some buddy boats. There are generally shorter sessions. But yeah, it's, it's a little bit tricky um, managing coral in the dinghy. She doesn't really, well, I mean, where we're diving, it's always rough. So it gets difficult to have coral in the dinghy. So today we decided to mothership it, move the whole boat over so that coral is more comfortable and whoever's hanging out with coral doesn't have to be uncomfortable as well. But just with the wind direction, it wasn't the best day for it because we're in bigger swell now. But I think it's better than being in the dinghy. So we'll see. Hopefully this will work out. But we're trying to make something work where we can both have some dive time and Coral be happy at the same time. Mm, I think she's happy showing on daddy's shorts. Mm. Welcome to Wally Intrepid. I'm Alex. And this is Corey. Three years ago, we sailed south from Canada as newbie sailors. Now we share our love of travel with our baby girl Coral as we explore new areas of the Bahamas. Join us for our weekly adventure. Cody, Joe, and I went out in search of some coral heads nearby. We found a few small heads, but not much life at first glance. But after a few dives, we found a few hiding holes. I took a shot at this lobster, but missed, and since the guys were nearby, I went and told Joe to give it a try, since he had never speared before. Unfortunately, I must have scared the lobster, because he was in that hole really deep. Lucky for us though, Cody has eagle eyes when it comes to spotting food underwater. So he stocked up our bucket with some channel clinging crabs. The waves hitting the boat right on its side was making it very uncomfortable to be on. I constantly had to hold on to Coral so that she wouldn't hit herself or go flying. I did also manage to go out spear fishing, but missed the shot on a nice sized grouper. 25 feet is kind of the limit of my depth for spear fishing. Enough of this roll though. Time to move the boat back in the northern portion of Calabash Bay. Usually they don't move the boat. Uh, Shadow cling clinging crabs! Cleaning crabs and conks on the beach is so much better. I don't have to clean a messy cockpit. You're in the sand! You can run! You can do it! Oh, no. oh. Wow. <laughs> hey. Yep, seems about right. Oh, beach no. time with Carl after the crazy yeah. rolliness of today. It's so much nicer on this part of Calabash. Uh, 
can't cry. <laughs> Who knows, we might get two of those at one point. <laughs> yeah, that would be a handful comparing to one. Actually. I made a little so salad, the, uh, and then there's the girls the below. <laughs> so trees as a donut. We have, what is it called again? Oh, uh, what is it called again? It's Here. like some sort of Hawaiian yeah. uh, sushi so with spam. So it's musubi. Mm. Spam musubi. Like, with some Hawaii. lobster salad. And yeah. fresh bread. Yeah. Oh. That's where it's at. This bread is bomb. So the girls are amazing. Delicious. And oh, it's yes. our last night together for a while. I'm just going to say for a while. Because it's not going to yeah. be that long this time. I get a feeling we're going to re-meet together. We I mean, will. our two little girls need to chase each other. Absolutely. Oh, they're so oh, sad. Cool. It's sad that it's her last little bit with her I sister. A bouncy, 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 bouncy. Their sister yeah. is constantly pointing to your boat and saying, Co, Co, for Coral. And yeah, they're definitely sisters. Yeah. Oh. Let's go, Coral. It's going to be good. Are you going to keep an eye open for the green flesh? It's going down. Yeah. You want to see the sunset? Is that why you're. Yeah. Trees. It is not a myth. The green flash is a thing. <laughs> Cody and I saw it. Oh! Did you see it? Gonna miss you, dude. Bye, All right, man. Take care easy. Bam. Bye, Corey. Ooh. One thing I have to say: Calabash Bay is really surgy and not the most comfortable in North Winds, which. Is all of what we've been getting. So I think the plan is going to be to tomorrow take a little walk over to Cape Santa Maria and then just get south. Get a, like about five nautical miles south from here and try to get some calmer water. If you ever find yourself in an anchorage with surge which makes life on a boat really rolly, do yourself a favor and just throw a stern anchor out. Point the boat, either the stern or the bow, into the waves and it'll be so much better. We used to be lazy about this because our anchor wasn't easily accessible. This year we decided to leave it tied to the stern for a quick access. We are officially testing Corey's little waffle maker which is using like 44, 45 amps with waffle ba batter. <laughs> oh man, we got waffles. Not really cooked on the outside so much. Maybe the next one needs a little longer. Oh man, this is luxury. Waffles on our sailboat. Never thought we'd see the day. And we don't even have that much capacity. We only have 280 amp hours of lithium. We are heading to Cape Santa Maria. Or we're going to try to find it anyways. With tides and waves crashing into the beach, we like to anchor our dinghy in slightly deeper water. This prevents it from smashing into the rocks and getting bashed by the waves. On the north side of Calabash Bay, and I think we're gonna go check out if the Santa Maria Tower Trail is the trail to the cave or just to a tower. Let's go! I love it! Poison tree, do not touch. 
much. So it did lead to an actual tower. Nice view. This is kind of exciting. We're gaining some elevation in the Bahamas. We decided to follow the dirt road, hoping it would eventually connect with the main road and lead to Cape Santa Maria. Oh, I'm so happy to be walking. I do like my walks and stretching the legs is awesome. And this little one really needed to get off the boat and fall asleep. So she's loving life right now. <laughs> the birds are singing away. Yeah. He's almost yellow. You see him? Yeah. It's kind of good because I was hoping to connect with this so that we would actually make it to the cape. Perfect! It's like you planned it. It's like the widest road we've ever been on in Bahamas. And it's all to ourselves. There's like nobody. It feels like Long Island just doesn't see anyone. Well, we're way north. Yeah, but still, like, we've been alone for a lot of it. Yeah, even on Quite the... few boats. Well, the most people we saw was at that soccer game. Right. The whole by. island was in, I don't know, Dead Man's Cave or something. <laughs> Super cute bay. We're almost at the monument. It's only, like, half a mile, and we can see it. It's a beautiful day. The monument is dedicated to the Lucayans. It also commemorates Columbus' landing on October 17, 1492. He named the Cape Santa Maria after the largest of his three ships. is loving the shade and the wind. It's nice after this warm walk. We wanted to come to Long Island back in 2020, but with the restrictions in the Bahamas, we never did. Georgetown was the furthest south we had gone, and now three sailing seasons later, and we were finally getting the real Long Island experience. Its location further south is probably why it's less visited. Most cruisers stopping here carry on deeper into the Caribbean. We could soak in the sights all to ourselves. Tall white cliffs dropping into shades of blues and turquoise. I was speechless. It was that breathtaking. You can sail here, but it would require some skillful navigation around reefs. It's much easier to walk 40 minutes to get to enjoy it. 
Or I guess we could have taken the dinghy over too. But I really wanted to stretch my legs anyway. <laughs> Really cool. Regretting br not bringing dive gear because it looks awesome diving and also not bringing the drone. But we might come back just to do those things because it looks like a pretty cool spot. Um, Coral's loving it. I, I don't think she's afraid of heights because she was out on that ledge just screaming and all happy. Woohoo! You like stairs, Coral? You like mommy? <laughs> now it's time to walk the nearly two nautical miles back to the boat. Why did we think it was such a great idea to do this at midday? I have no idea. It was so warm and there was no shade whatsoever. Back to the sailboat. up over your head. Oh, 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 there we go. You made it. You're free. Free. We're going to go bird. swim because it is hot. So mommy and Carl in the water. Because yeah, your cheeks are getting red. You're warm. Yeah, it's cooling down. That's good. The water is too cold though. Is it nice? You like it? Nice and cool? <laughs> Refreshing. Ready for some daughters. Carl's got crackers, I got crab dip, Ooh. and Corey, you gotta grab the beer. Thanks for carrying the crackers, Coral. You're doing a yeah. great job. Don't let go. Don't drop them. I don't want broken crackers. <laughs> you move your foot. We're going up. Oh man. Mm. Yeah, mm. channel clinging crab. Thanks to Cody. Yesterday I was pretty bad at diving, didn't get anything. But Cody got like four crab and he gave me one. Delicious, thank you. Let's see it. She's Show going everybody. somewhere. Show everybody. Come see mommy. That's it. Oh, she's getting <laughs> doing a crab walk? Watch this little one carefully, eh? Big welcome to Douglas Bates as our newest patron. It means the world to us that you want to help support the videos because there's a lot of work that goes into them and equipment dies in salt water, so it's always nice to have some good support. Yes. And if you're curious about patrons, you can follow the link in the description and you get lots of perks and fun stuff.